In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus Na2 CO3. This is lead 2 nitrate, and this is sodium carbonate. First thing that we need to do is balance our molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. It looks like all we need to do is put a coefficient of 2 in front of the sodium nitrate, and that should balance the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So nitrates are very soluble, so we can write Aq after that. That'll dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds as well, very soluble. I'll write Aq here. Carbonates, they in general aren't soluble except for group 1. We could check on a solubility table though just to make sure. And when we look at our table here, we have lead down here and then carbonates up here. So you can see most of these carbonates, they aren't soluble except for this group 1. But when we go across and in lead carbonate, that's insoluble. That I means insoluble. So it's not going to dissolve. It's going to stay a solid. In fact, when these two compounds react, this lead to carbonate, it's a solid. It's a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube and just sit there. Nitrates and sodium compounds, both very soluble. We'll put a little AQ, they'll dissolve. So we have our states. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. So lead, we really don't know what that is. It's a transition metal, so it can have different ionic charge. But nitrate, that always is a 1 minus. You can look that up on a table of ions. Probably good to remember. So this is 1 minus, and we have two of them. So we have this 2 minus ionic charge here. This has to be 2 plus. So we could say Pb. 2 plus, that's the lead ion, and I'll wait and write aqueous at the end when we're done, not right now, and then the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And that little subscript right here means we have two of these nitrate ions. Plus, sodium has a 1 plus charge, it's in group 1. Carbonate, 2 minus, good one to remember as well. So we could say we have our sodium, Na plus, but again, we have a subscript, so we need to put a 2 in front of that. Plus, our carbonate ions, CO3, 2, minus. So these are the reactants. Then on the products, this lead to carbonate, it's a solid. So in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart, liquids or gases. So this solid here at the bottom of the test tube, we don't split that apart. That's just PbCO3, lead to carbonate, plus we had our positive and our negative here, two sodium ions, and then two nitrate ions. So now this is our complete ionic equation. We have our reactants here and our products. So we can now cross out the spectator ions. Spectator ions, they're on both sides of the equation, reactants and products. They really haven't changed, so we can just cross them out. For example, we have two nitrate ions here. We have two nitrate here on the product side, so we can just cross those out. In the reactants, we have two sodium ions, two sodium ions in the products, we can cross those out. And that's going to leave us with our net ionic equation. We have the lead 2 ion, the carbonate ion, and then our solid lead 2 carbonate. So I'll clean this up, add the states, and then we'll come back with a nicely formatted net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus Na2 CO3. So this is the net ionic equation for lead 2 nitrate plus sodium carbonate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.